Hello, welcome to my tutorial path of question video on well, moles of the equators. This is the second set of these questions, so we'll just go through each question in turn and I'll write up the answers as we go. So, the, for the first two questions now, 7.5 moles of calcium carbonate reacts with 0.2 moles of decimeter cubed of hydrochloric acid. Calculate the volume in a centimeter cubed of 0.02 moles per decimeter cubed hydrochloric acid required to react with 7.5 times 10 to the minus 3 moles of calcium carbonate. Now we need to calculate the volume in centimeters cubed of CO2 formed at room temperature and pressure. And we need to calculate how many moles of HCl were reacted, knowing that 50 centimeters cubed of 12 moles per decimeter cubed hydrochloric acid with is reacted with manganese oxide. We need to calculate the volume of Cl2 produced in decimeters cubed. So give you a five second pause and we'll go through the answers. So calculated the the um, volume we have mole over concentration is the way to get volume. So seven point five times ten minus three all over naught point two zero zero and that is naught point naught three seven five DM cubed times in that by a thousand we get 37.5 centimeters cubed and it's on the answer line. New something to do is to calculate the volume of CO2 and that is 7.5 times 10 to the minus 3 times by 24,000 and we get 900 centimeters cubed and press next this one's slightly different rearrangement, so it's volume times concentration and that is 0 0.600 moles and it goes there so now if we look 0.604 molar ratio is 4 to 1 there so that's 0 0.15 moles and 0 0.15 times 24 is 3.6 decimeters cubed and that's all you need to do because we don't need to convert it to centimeters cubed we just need to find this by 24 in order to get those two marks uh, for this question now what mass of sodium was, sodium was reacted if we know that 0 0.05 moles of sodium was reacted with water to form 50 centimeters cubed of sodium hydroxide and we need to work out the volume of hydrogen gas released. Knowing that that fact remains true, it's also on your data sheet, but they give it to you. These questions, and we need to calculate the concentration in moles per decimeter cubed of sodium hydroxide that was formed. Next, next couple of questions. Barium metal can be extracted from barium oxide (BaO) by reduction of aluminium. Calculate the mass of barium metal that can be reduced from reduction of 500 grams of barium oxide using this method. And calculate how many moles in the carafe is on a 50 pence coin, knowing that 25% of the total mass of a 50 pence coin makes up the whole, makes up 8 grams, 25% of 8 grams basically. And then we need to calculate the number of atoms using Avogadro's constant, 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. And finally, this one, what is meant by the term of the mole? Add 120 centimeters cubed of an aqueous solution of 0.275 moles per decimeter cubed sodium hydroxide. And we need to calculate the volume of CO2 reacted with sodium hydroxide. But first, you need to calculate the moles in order to do that. So, 
go back now to question three. And I'll give you like a five, a five second pause. Do all the do try and do all the questions and if, and if you uh are stuck on anything just go through that particular answer with me. So Okay, we'll go through number three now. Not oh, 0 0.05 times twenty three mass of sodium and that is one point one five grams. And look at the molar ratios two to two two to two but for hydrogen it's two to one. So sticking it out over two we get zero point zero two five moles. And that times by twenty four that is zero point six decimeters cubed. Oh yeah. And then 0 0.05 all over 50 over 1000 because it's in centimeters cubed. Let's convert it back to decimeters. And that is 1.00 moles per decimeter cubed. That's a shoddy line. question. So looking at question 4 now we need to do 500 over 16 plus 137.3 which is the mass of barium and that gives us 3.2615786 moles and now dividing that by 2 with 6 over 3 is Two and you need to keep the molar ratios exactly the same. We get one point zero eight dot dot, and oh, seven one nine seven one nine dot dot. And you times that by one hundred thirty seven point three, and that gives you one hundred forty nine point two seven grams. So taking that back up. Yep. That is the answer. So now moving on to question six. Two over fifty-eight point seven. That gives us zero point zero three four three four zero seven one by five dot dot so that's 0 0.034 moles and it times that by Avogadro's constant and that gives you 2.0511 times 10 so 20 second atoms now finally for number five the mole is the amount of atoms as there are in 12 grams of the carbon-12 isotope, so I'll just type that out. That's our standard def definition now. So for the bowls we just need to, you know, moles is concentration times volume, so 0 0.2775 times by 120 all over 1000 gives us 0 0.033 moles and then 0 0.033 all over 2 is 0 0.0165 moles and then times in that by 24 We get naught point. We write that again. Naught point three nine six decimeters cubed. Naught 
or alternatively if you wanted it to express it in centimeters cubed you can so that is just the same answer multiplied by a thousand and that is three Yeah, 396 centimetres cubed. Yep. So that's it for this uh, past question video. Thank you for watching. Goodbye. There is a document on Google Drive if you want to test your chemistry skills as well.